Microsoft has just taken the biggest risk in hardware in 20 years since the original Xbox, maybe the biggest risk in hardware ever, and that is because they just announced Surface Neo. It's a dual screen device that opens like a book. This has been a, a highly anticipated piece of hardware since uh, the original kind of courier prototype design leaked from Microsoft. So it's got two screens. It opens with a hinge, kind of articulates 360 degrees. It also has a keyboard that flips up. There's really nothing like it on the market right now. It's not coming out until more than a year from now, next holiday season, they're announcing it now because they want developers involved in developing software for this new version of Windows. They have not announced pricing, but this is sure to be a premium product. So that's what's going on on stage right now. It's a risk for a couple of reasons. One, there's no piece of hardware like this that's been developed. It's very expensive. We all know what the uh, economy is doing. So who knows how this will be received? They're trying to get developers on board. If they don't get developers on board, that's arguably egg on their faces, but they are trying to do that. Uh, so that's one piece of the risk. The other piece is when you announce a piece of hardware that's not coming out for a year plus, are people going to continue to buy what you're putting out this year, which is most of what this event is about. Now, maybe they'll be able to differentiate between these two things. People who want a tablet or want a laptop now are going to buy it and, and wait for next year. Maybe there's a premium market for this Surface Neo device. You don't know. But there's the risk that Microsoft has taken. Now, they have also announced the Surface Pro X. That is the ARM-based Surface Pro device that we were also anticipating. They're saying it runs full Windows 10. They had Adobe on stage demonstrating Adobe Creative Cloud running on that device. Adobe is the big guns that you bring in when you show that something really is a full-fledged uh, computer because Adobe software tends to be very demanding when it comes to productivity and processing power. They said that this ARM processor uh, runs at seven watts versus two watts usually for where the ARM runs. They worked with Qualcomm to really enhance the power of that. Microsoft also adding its own custom AI engine to that. So we'll be taking a closer look at that, trying to put that through the paces and consider the implications for the whole Windows market, not just a Surface Pro X, but also Surface Neo. Now, they're saying that this version of Windows that's going to go with Surface Neo next year, Windows 10X, is going to be available to other OEMs so that they can also build dual screen devices. This is Microsoft, like I mentioned earlier, giving that push to others to try to innovate on Windows design, but a big risk and some big product announcements today from Microsoft, guys. John, who's the target customer for all of this? Is this for employees and companies and for work applications, or is it broader than that? Well, uh, for the Surface Pro X, the one that's coming out this year, that ARM-based design, it's your productivity uh, road warrior office person who wants something thin and light with the largest possible bot battery life uh, that, that's got high performance also. For the Surface Neo, we'll, we'll see what the pricing is. There's this category of hardware that we've long talked about called executive jewelry, where, hey, this is the, the most premium product that you can get. It's your highest end executives who might have it. This might be something that uh, your marketing and design folks, like in this uh, Chelsea area of New York, might carry around because not only uh, is it a pretty device, but it also gives you double screen real estate. Somebody who's heavy on design might be able to justify carrying a device like that. But this could cost easily $2,000 or more. We'll have to see where it price. I mean, it's $2,000 just for this, uh, this new Samsung uh, device, the Galaxy Fold, that's little. This is bigger, so we'll see where they price it.